Hello everybody and welcome back to another jailbreak video. In this 2024 guide, I'll show the most useful and effective tips and tricks to boost your gameplay over the year. Before I start, if you learned anything new, it would really help me out if you could press subscribe. Alright, I don't want to waste your time, so let's get right into it. Starting off, try to capitalize on the roll feature to get around quickly. This can be really useful whether you're trying to push an enemy, dodge bullets and taze guns, or for retreating. Also, try to have a vehicle nearby in case of an emergency. Vehicles are extremely useful and a core part of the game. In fact, try to use drifting effectively and learn how to maneuver around the map. One tip you can use is to get into your car and jump to boost into the air. This can be really useful to get away from cops and find cover. Speaking of which, when in battle, try to use cover to your advantage. Strafe well by going left and right to ruin your enemy's aim, and always try to use force field and rockets to your advantage. One thing to keep in mind is that rockets can hit through walls, and C4s can be activated whenever you want, until they despawn. While you're fighting, try not to reload. Reloading takes an enormous amount of time, which could be spent fighting your enemy. Instead, you should be shooting your enemies and quickly rotating through your guns after hitting them. This will allow you to rack up quick damage and it's a really effective method that pros use all the time. Use higher damaging guns as the first weapons in your hotbar. This can be quite nice for getting fast damage on players and knocking down vehicles. Using sniper, shotgun, and pistol in your loadout can be extremely practical while fighting. These are the best weapons to combo with, and just by using the shotgun and sniper combo, you can instantly knock down a vehicle. One of the best items in the game is actually the jetpack. This will allow you to get away from enemies quickly, or find cover on top of buildings. I cannot emphasize this enough, but you should always be checking your minimap as it's really effective and you can easily find enemies. When escaping the prison, you can actually bribe cops to make it so they can't arrest you. You can implement this technique on camping cops and easily get away. Also, after punching the box, roll past the gates to get an even quicker escape. If this fails, try going into a nearby vehicle and use the car jump method combined with some boosts to get away. When you see cops enter the bank or the casino, push out as it's way better for your team to kill the enemy before they can quickly arrest you. Trust me, the money can wait. While playing as cops, try and always get closer to your target. You can push by using items like gliders and drinks, or by simply using your vehicle. Always try and swiftly get a tase off. If you fail that, either lower their damage or find cover immediately. After tasing them, lower their damage in case they get back up and arrest them. To counter as criminals, always remember not to panic. Try baiting their taste and always remember to strafe while backing up. Remember to use the core roll feature to find cover or dodge the taste shot. During a fight, teammates in cover are your biggest friends, as it actually doesn't take that long to arrest a player. Also, in case of an emergency, remember to locate that vehicle as your escape plan because you never want to be afraid of retreating as a criminal. An underrated tool to use is the glider. Use this effectively to push up to your enemies, or to run away. While robbing, try and team up with friends and always look at your minimap when escaping. And for grinding, by far the best vehicle to use is the $1 million drone, as it's the safest and very easy to get around the map. You can actually reset your character after being arrested to instantly spawn back. This can prove to be effective when you're just trying to get around those annoying cops. On the other side for cops, you can actually reset when you just spawn in if you get a really bad spawn location. This will allow you to cycle through all those spawn points just to get the perfect area you're looking for. For the next tip, always look at the chat. This is really underrated, but a lot of criminals will wrap themselves out and you can easily arrest them. While robbing the casino, you can actually lock the spinning doors by putting a C4 right here. 
In settings, enable the hotbar or speedometer to switch your weapons around while you're in your vehicle. If you're looking to get a game pass in Jailbreak, Duffel Bag and Pro Garage are the best game passes. This is because it increases the amount of money you get per robbery, and you can also spawn a car whenever you want. This will allow you to grind way easier, and it's really efficient. How do you think that all these players get so much money? Hey money, I'm just waiting. <laughs> Next time you play Jailbreak, try using these really useful tips, and you'll notice you'll play a lot better. If you have any tips, please share it down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, press subscribe, join my discord, and I'll see you guys next time!